Oh, right. We have another game for you today. <laughs> is absolutely right. The reason that he's laughing so much is because uh, we all picked Persians and they all did not pick Persians. I actually think Persians on this particular map is quite overpowered, especially if you're going to be TC dropping. I don't know how... Minute? What's up? Sword says, what's up? And sword is in the pink over here. We don't have to discuss sieves, so that's nice. And I go, what? Oh, we all picked random. This is this is so strange. I have no idea. Uh, in the meantime, we have Golden Royal, and he picked Persian. I don't even know these guys. Who are these guys? I always pick random, and I always get Persian. So obviously, our opponents are not stupid. They know exactly what is going on. They're going to get. TC dropped. Actually, I like to go forward. Bruh, who are these dudes? <laughs> I like to go forward and I like to try and lame on this map because you're so close to each other. So we did manage to lame all of these deer. And now we're going to just be looking for additional resources to lame. Now the reason I picked this game to put on YouTube is because our opponents do something very interesting. Each one of these players will be doing their own defensive style against the Persian TC drop. So, Gray, obviously, he has the uh, the no-wall approach. Teal, over here, he has the uh, the far-out wall. Far-out wall, bro. Just really far-out wall. And green, <laughs> green over here. I love Green's approach so much. He's making this tiny little wall right around his TC. He's like, oh, they cannot drop me. If I drop Palisade's wall beyond the radius, genius, 500 IQ. And Blue is taking a different approach. He's doing the Palisade wall everywhere approach. As all of this is going on, I, I feel a little bit bad for Gray. So, I, I, you know, he, he didn't have his deer. He's, he's like, oh, this woman is staring. Why? Why? Why would you kill this deer and not take its food? That's terrible. Wall on the berries, you know, do a whole bunch of laming action. We're all laughing. We're all having a good time. We're talking on Discord. It's all good. And I think... Uh, we now realize how heavily Blue, <laughs> Blue has palisaded his entire base. Now, normally you would go and TC drop uh, around the 20 villager mark. It's, it's quite an easy build to do. Six on food, the rest on wood. Build a lumber camp and build a mill. That's basically it. And obviously you can do different variations to it. But it's also pretty easy to stop. And I can tell you right now, this is not the way to stop it. This is not the way to stop it. This is not the way to stop it. And, well, not doing anything is, is definitely not the way to stop it. Or is it? We'll get back to that a little bit later on. On how to stop a TC drop effectively. What works, what doesn't work. I believe it's uh, Orange that decides to go for TC drop first. Collecting wood close by. And now he's going to try. Yeah, so he's... This is this is not what you do when you TC drop. Sorry, Orange, that I'm picking on you a little bit. You delete the TC right when you want to drop it. Although he's pretty close, so it's not the the worst thing in the world. And and killing these palisades over here, uh, that's actually not too bad. He needs to chop this tree. Chop this tree, and you can actually drop it over. That, uh, oh, that is actually in range. Oh, that was a nice play by Blue. Uh, is that in range? Uh, I don't think it is. There's always a spot. Actually, this would be a really nice spot over here. Fighting and, uh see, all this time he could have been... Uh, can he, can he, can he, yes, no, no. Oh, no, no. No, it's all falling apart. My scout's over here. We're just trying our best. He's like, he's walled. My guy's full walled over here. Uh, the thing is, don't ever get scared. Just make it happen. Just make it happen with what you got. These walls aren't doing anything. Got it. You gotta get these vills because these vills are actually going to stop you from getting a TC up. And honestly, if this was me, I would probably walk it around and eventually you will find a spot where you can drop it. Like right here is a perfect place to drop it. Where is Orange going to? I mean, kudos to Orange for his persistence on this matter. Where is he going to be able to drop this? 
I mean, I think, yeah, okay, okay, he can actually drop it here. And that is in range, so there you go. You can always find a spot. So Gray's over here, he's completely unprotected. He's like, oh, I've already walled, I've already dropped over here. Uh, my villagers were on the way, I think, yeah, so they're all coming over here. And I was like, okay, I'll drop blue, there's a nice spot over here for me to drop. And Orange was like, nope. I got this. And I was like, okay, you do you. You do you. And now, after all of this idle time to construct tons of palisades, what does Blue have to show for it? A TC in his face. Actually, this is unfortunate, that little hill over here as well. So let's speed this up a little bit. Let's see who is the next victim. So, blue is being dropped, so I don't have to go over to blue. So now I'm trying to figure out, okay, green, where is green at? Indicating to my teammates that gray is an easy target. I, I, li I like to not take the easy targets. You gotta go for the uh, the more tricky ones. So, I, I guess there was a miscommunication between orange and myself, probably my fault, uh, that he actually had dropped him already. And now I realize that green's over here. So we're just going to batter this down and drop our TC right in there. That, that's another option if you think that your opponent has walls over his base. With 16 villagers, this is going to go down really quick. But that's actually in range of my vills, so that's not good. we got to abandon that plan. And now we're just looking for a spot where we can drop. And there's one spot, one spot that green did not see. And that's right here. And that's what we're going to take advantage of. And this is just barely, just barely in range. Meanwhile, yellow is over here. Gray went for the last second, <laughs> the last second Palisade Walls, but you could easily walk around and get this on. And actually, is this in range? No, it's not. So it does decide to relocate. Oh, you don't need to do this. You, you really just, just walk around. Eventually, you will find a spot to drop it in, but my goodness, this game was wild. Absolute madness. So we've dropped the TC now. We're, we're gonna just create more chaos over here. Batter down everything. Do you think you can keep me out? We're coming for you, man. We're coming for you. Meanwhile, green is uh, slowly <laughs> starting to lose his TC. Blue's already lost his TC. He's repairing. Oh, you definitely don't want to repair your TC. That's terrible. That's probably the worst thing that you can do because repairing the TC is actually the same cost as just constructing a new TC. And that's a nice spot. Yeah, there's always a spot to be found. Now, personally, I like to grab a whole bunch of villagers because otherwise you get in awkward situations like this. But kudos to Golden Royal for following up with the game plan and dropping no matter what. I mean, they all knew that this was coming, right? Every single one of them knew that this was going to be happening. And yet, he still managed to get the TC up. Making defensive militia is actually a good idea. Especially if your opponent has so little... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get, come on. Come on, Golden Royal. Just click this through. Oh, Golden. Ah, uh, you know what? Just, just bring additional villagers. I think if you just keep clicking the TC... It actually does go up. Yeah, you have to keep clicking it, otherwise... And... Oh, come on. Oh, he's not... You have to continue. Yeah, there, and, and Garrison, Garrison, Garrison! Nice. Nice. Blue CC is down. And now it's, it's just chaos. <laughs> Absolute chaos over here. Militia from Orange as well. I like his variation of the... Oh, God. Oh, God. What's that? Blue is dead. Blue is super dead at this point. We're still fighting green like a madman as well. Green doesn't know where to go. We're just running around looking where he has his lumber. That's important because that way he cannot repair his TC any longer. So, so far, three of our TC drops were very, very successful. I'm keeping this open as well just in case I want to go over to this direction at some point and drop... Teal, because he hasn't gotten a TC yet. So it, it seems only fair that Teal would also get a TC on his face. Actually bring some at arms here. That's not a bad play, but they need to be where the Vil fighting is occurring. Not 
over here taking out a house that doesn't matter. Green's out of wood, and this is going to go down as well. Meanwhile, oh god, still so much vil fighting. The militia really helping out. And that's exactly what I would recommend that you do if their TC does go down. Fight, 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 fight. And a GG is coming in from all players. And I feel a little bit sad because Teal didn't get TC dropped. And I'm pretty sure Gray's TC is still standing. Now, the way you stop a TC drop is to simply not invest in your TC. There's no need to construct a whole bunch of farms. They're already going to be significantly behind. What you should do is relocate and preferably relocate to their old base. So you could actually relocate to, for example, Yellow's Berries. Or you could stop them from taking wood by <laughs> relocating to their wood line or, or, or something in that nature. Or just hide yourself. Now, given on this map, that's very tricky to do. And that's why I think the TC drop on this map is particularly powerful. But let's just break it down a little bit more. The Palisade walls everywhere. Rubenstock says this as well. It just makes you look silly. You can always place a TC if you just try hard enough. You can even fight one of these, get rid of it, and then place it. It still works. You just have to send it. Doing this little super small circle around your base may seem like a good idea, but you need to really execute it well. And, and, and even then, you could probably pick off uh, one of these palisade points and drop it that way also you're gonna have to have a gate in there in order to get it just makes it super awkward and if you do get a gate down what you can do is you can actually drop that tc right in that gate opening and now they have to delete the walls to even get to your villagers so i'm not a big fan of this strategy either now the far out walls may seem like a good strategy but what you could do is find a spot where there's no villagers and quickly batter through and then drop the TC. I'm actually a big fan of the doing nothing. Uh, I like the, the, the military that Gray actually constructed and preemptively stopping it, but once it does go down, simply relocate. It's that simple. Once they get it up, you're not winning that. Although he did not have a whole bunch of villagers in here, if I'm not mistaken, so... Uh, I would say never fight a TC war with a Persian. Persians are madmen, and he does have 10 in there. Let's take a quick look at the statistics. 20 kills for Orange. Wow. Wow, I didn't expect him to do that well. That's crazy. Uh, lowest unit's loss is 2. That means he lost 1 to, to what? What did he lose that to? That's That's... Oh no, he killed one and he lost two. Okay, okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm, I'm tired. I'm recording this one quite late. And there you got the timeline. And, and, and that's it. This game mode for me never goes past like 22 minutes or something in that nature. Feudal or Dark Age. That's where this one ends. With the Persian TC drop. Quadruple drop. Just remember to keep walking. And if you do get TC dropped, just walk away. Just walk away.